Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So real quick, I wanted to show you guys how to get the new feature of using game collections into your emulation station builds for RetroPie. So I highlighted this in a previous video um, where I had manually added it to a build just to kind of cover it. But now it is widely available and everybody can install this very easily. So we'll go ahead and show how to get that done real quick. So first step, go on over to RetroPie Setup. Just a couple quick steps, nothing major. Oops. We're going to want to go down to RetroPie Setup in our configuration screen. And then from here, you're going to want to go ahead and update the RetroPie Setup script. You should be on version 4.2.18. If you're not on 1.8, you need to get there. And how are you going to get there? You're going to update your RetroPie Setup script. Very easy. Once that is done, and that'll only take a few seconds, this is not a long process. Get that done, and then you're gonna go over here and go to Manage Packages. What I suggest you do is go to Manage Core Packages and just install update all core packages from Binary. It'll, it'll be pretty quick. Binary is just gonna be the, the compiled code, whereas if you do it from source, it's gonna be the freshest you know, human readable level that needs to be compiled and it's gonna take a while. But if you're fairly up to date, if you're within the past couple updates, I would say just just install from, you know, an update from binary, you should be good. You're, you're not gonna to have to worry about it. If you go through source, um, maybe for the core packages, it won't take forever, but it's gonna take a heck of a lot longer than if you just update by from binary. And if you update from source th for everything, you know, it's your pie is going to be busy for a while. So go ahead and do that. Update all core packages from binary or just update emulation station. But I just I recommend doing all the core packages. Once that's done, go ahead and back out and, you know, reboot your system if you must. Uh, but now you should have that feature ready to be used. So to use that feature, you're going to press start, press A on game collections. So we already have the automatic game collections, which is going to be all games, favorites, and last played. We should be fairly you know, familiar with that already. The new stuff is going to be our custom game collections. Create new custom collection from theme and create new custom collection. So if you go here to create new collection from theme, it's going to list whatever collections are already available within that theme. So this theme is not, I don't have it updated. I'm not 100% if it has been updated to have extra themes in there for collections, but other ones do, like Big Wood from James Durden, Showcase from David Marty, um, Magazine Madness from Dwayne Hurst. Those all have a bunch of themes already installed and ready to go for your custom collections and, and, and whatnot. So this list, will be a lot bigger in those themes. On this one, we don't have anything special. Um, at the moment, I'm not updated on this, but Mortal Kombat Collection could be one of them. Um, what you would do is, you know, so, so say I wanna do Mortal Kombat Collection. I'll go ahead and select that. We're gonna get put into editing mode. So you see, we're in editing, Mortal Kombat Collection. So now we have, we have that display, Mortal Kombat. So now what we'll do is we would search our systems that have the games we're looking for. So Super Nintendo, for example, I'm gonna go ahead and jump to letter M, make it easy, scroll down, look for Mortal Kombat, and we should have several. So we have three Mortal Kombats in Super Nintendo. Now, if you see behind me, the Y button on the help bar at the bottom says Mortal Kombat Collection. That's because we're in editing mode. So go ahead and press Y to add your game, and you see up top, we got the confirmation that it was added. Boom, hit it for Mortal Kombat 3, added, Mortal Kombat 2, added. So now all those are gonna be added into our special theme. And like I said, this one's not a great example because I don't have a bunch of the, the themes set up on here, but those other images that I mentioned already have a ton of them set up. You know, they'll be like Super Mario Collection, Sonic Collection, Disney, 
Castlevania, Final Fantasy, stuff like that with their own custom artwork that the theme creator implemented, which I think is pretty nice. So now we have that. You know, we did the, the theme collection that was within the theme, um, the custom game collection that was within the theme, which we did Mortal Kombat. So if everything's set up properly, boom, you'll have everything done. Now, within a game select, like a system, we want to get done with that. We, we, we just want to be finished. So you'll press select. Once you press select, you're going to go down to finish editing Mortal Kombat collection or whatever collection you're editing. Hit the A button. Okay, now we're done. The Y button behind us is back to adding favorites instead of editing our collection. So that's pretty nice. So we got Mortal Kombat there. Nice. What can you do? Now there's another option we can do. Back in our game collections, we can create a new collection. Now, if you create a new collection, you can name it whatever you want. Um, doesn't really matter. You know, you could name it whatever it's relevant for. I've seen people talk about, you know, four-player games, multiplayer games. Um, you can set up whatever you want. So we'll just set up something that says awesome, some awesome games, you know. And once that's done... It's, it's going to create a new collection. Since this theme is not have it set up, which would be the collections um, display, a lot of the, the newer themes that are updated will have a collections, and you go in there, and it will have, you know, this is blank right now, but she'll say awesome up there. Hey, awesome. And then we go, if we had a game in there, we would just go in there and add our game or play our games. So what we would do is, for example, we're still in editing mode because we just created it. We can just start adding games to that folder. And now once we go back to the collections and we select awesome, it's going to have those games that we put in there. So any custom theme that you create or custom collection that you create that there's not a theme for, it will just make folders for it. Typically, the newer themes will have a nice collection layout. Like I said, this one's not prepped for that, but a lot of the newer ones are. And you'll just have access to all your folders down there. So now we're done editing. Um, awesome. So we'll go ahead and finish that. We're done. Nothing more to that. So the other question I've seen people ask is, you know, you go back, you press start, you go to game collections. There's nothing in here saying how you can you can edit anything. Well, you can't edit the pre-existing ones that you already set up through this screen. You'll have to go back to that collection. So we're in the Mortal Kombat one. And then when you press select, you will get the add or remove games. You press that, you go back into editing mode. Very simple, easy to do. And like I said, um, a lot of themes are set up differently, so it's going to be up to the theme you're looking at on what already is included as far as custom collections. And if there is a collections uh, layout for you, that's going to group all your, your folders together. This one doesn't have it set up, but a lot of them do. And I think it's pretty cool. So the other thing, too, before we go ahead and go um, on your game collection settings, if you go down here and you you turn group unthemed co custom collections off, it's just going to put everything as a display instead of putting it in a folder into the collection screen. So if you have that off, it's just going to be everywhere. If you have that on, it's you're going to have to go to that specific uh, display, press A to go in there, and then your your custom collections will be listed by folder, and then you select that collection and you have access to it. I would highly recommend leaving that on so it looks a lot cleaner, but hey, that's up to you. You can always add your own custom artwork, all that kind of cool stuff. Um, but that, that's pretty much it. Uh, new, new feature, I think it's awesome. It's rounding out emulation station nicely. I, I think this is, is almost the, the end of the line as far as everything I would want for emulation station. So I'll be surprised to see anything new that they drop as far as features because pretty much where emulation station is at right now as far as features that are supported for me i'm good 
I don't need anything else other than, you know, these awesome themes that these guys keep putting out. But as far as features go, I'm, I'm pretty happy now. I, I'm set. I'm in it to win it with Emulation Station. I'm really digging it. And I really appreciate the work the people who, who developed this and, and, and the time and effort that's put into it is done. I really appreciate the work. So thank you, guys. Smash that like button if you could. I really would appreciate that. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I will catch you guys next time. Boom!